E3 is full of crazy, unpredictable announcements that are unpredictable, so I'd like to try to predict some of them. In truth, there are some safer bets, and even guarantees, but I'm not going to include Smash Brothers or rumored titles like Pokemon Let's Go or Star Fox. The latter of which we'll see if it is real, and the former we'll see which bullet points were BS. <laughs> I've actually heard a few plausible rumblings that Nintendo and Microsoft are actually in talks about the potential of a cross-platform partnership, and we may hear something at E3, which I'm taking with a huge grain of salt. I do think what I'm hearing is a little more credible than a lot of these PS5 and Xbox 2 rumors though, and it kind of almost makes sense. Microsoft has put multiple versions of Minecraft on Switch. Not just the special Switch version. However, if this actually pans out, I think one of the most likely things to come from it would be Microsoft porting some of Rare's classics to Switch, to see how things go and continue discussions based on that. But there's a good chance this won't happen, so it is number 10. When Soul Calibur 6 was announced, a Switch version was not confirmed. I think at E3 this will change, and it may be kicked off by the announcement of Breath of the Wild Link in a guest role. Soul Calibur 2 did particularly well thanks to including Link, so I don't think Namco plans to leave Switch out, even if due to the start of development, it may be a short delay. But Link might actually not be the only guest on Switch. Square teased this, and then backpedaled when the execs came down on the devs. Then they teased it again, and then the execs silenced things for good. What we can take from this is Square really wants Final Fantasy XV on Switch. And I think there's a good chance it might be announced at E3, packed with all the DLC up until now. Or it might end up in a fall direct. Nintendo has talked about wanting to explore some of their lapsed IPs again, and I can't imagine they don't see the potential custom Robo has on Switch, even if it is just a remake of one of the older games and we're better to stick it than next to Smash Brothers in an E3 Direct. Capcom is finally getting serious about porting games to Switch especially Mega Man, and there's one Nintendo exclusive subseries with a lot of popularity. It might be a ways off from release, but I don't think Capcom will miss this opportunity. But this could also fall into a fall direct. Nintendo has expressed interest in bringing back Wave Race and it is a lapsed IP for them to explore with strong nostalgia to the primary Switch demographic. It would make a great summer eShop only release for $30 to $40. Nintendo has, for some reason, not had a lot of faith in Golden Sun, despite relatively strong sales and an active fandom. After the Smash Ballot, I think that might change. They had Konami make a Bomberman game because of the Smash Ballot, but I think they may still be a little conservative and just remake the original two games as eShop only titles, and see how much money there really is in the franchise. A Xenosaga collection or remaster has been rumored for ages, and the rumors are picking up again. Namco has even made some comments, so they are aware of the demand and rumors, and Namco is very close with Nintendo and Monolith Soft. 
I think this game has a very good chance to make it into the Nintendo Direct. I don't care about this franchise at all, but there's a lot of demand for a Switch version and I think Square may give it to us. And it would make too much sense to not be in the Direct. Hopefully the Mickey for Smash Brothers speculation won't be too bad though. Do you know what next year is? It is the 20th anniversary of Mario Party. Mario Party wouldn't normally be a bombshell, but we've all played and enjoyed it. An anniversary edition is likely with the best boards and minigames, multiple playstyles, and possibly the return of dual mode for quick two-player games anywhere. There would be things for every Mario Party fan. And when would this probably be announced? E3. I can see this being a surprise treehouse game. As always with predictions, it will be fun to see how many of these were accurate, and how many are wrong. What announcements are you expecting though?